Hello everyone. I am your host Ayushi Kara Setia and welcome back to our channel Pavli. So in this video we are going to learn how to add Elementor form responses to Airtable account automatically. So the idea here is that you are collecting leads through Elementor form submission. Now you want the form details or the form submission responses to be captured in your Airtable base. For that we need to create a connection between Elementor form and Airtable so that whenever the Elementor form is filled automatically the form responses are collected in your Airtable base. So in this particular integration we are using two software applications. The first one is Elementor forms which is the form building software application. So in place of Elementor form we can even use Jot forms, Paper forms, Type form or any other form building software application. In the second application we are using is Airtable which is a spreadsheet program. So in place of Airtable we can even use Stackby, Grist, Google Sheets or any other spreadsheet program. So how we are going to create an integration between Elementor form and Airtable? This we will be learning in the further steps of the video. First let us check this in the real time that how this complete process works automatically. So this is the web page named A to Z tour and travel service where I have embedded my Elementor form over here. I am collecting the name, email address and mobile number of the customer and this is my Airtable base. Okay. So now I want that whenever a customer fills this particular form, automatically the form responses or the details of the customer should be captured over here in my Airtable base. Let us fill the form over here. Let's give the name as Adam Smith, email address as smithadam25 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, and let's add the phone number over here or the mobile number. Let's click on submit. The form was sent successfully. Okay, so the form data is sent successfully. Now let us check our Airtable base. Okay, and here we can find the name of the customer as Adam Smith, email address and the mobile number. So now here you might be wondering that I just entered the form details over here on my web page and automatically the details of the customer or the responses of the form are collected here in my Airtable base. So how did I manage to do this? Let me tell you, this has become possible just because of the automation and the integration process. So in order to create an integration between Elementor forms and Airtable, we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically, Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating Elementor form with Airtable automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So first we have to create an integration between Elementor form and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect is going to capture all the details of the form submission and using those details of the form submission automatically the form submission responses will be captured in a Airtable base. And in this way we are going to learn that how we can create an integration between Elementor form and Airtable using Pabli Connect. So let us learn the integration process now. For this let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y Pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option. You can create your own account in just 2 minutes by clicking on this option. And you will get 100 tasks free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I will simply click on sign in. In the All Apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on Access Now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For this, let us come to this plus sign and click on Create Workflow. Here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Add Elementor Form Responses to A Table. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on Create. Now here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want the element of form responses to be captured in Airtable base. So open this trigger window and here in the choose application, let us find element of forms. In the trigger event, we have to select new form submission. 
Now here we can find a webhook URL. So we have to set up this webhook URL into the Elementor form. For that, I'll just take you to the dashboard of my WordPress account. Here, I'll just take you to the Pages option. And I'll just open the page which I have already created that is A to Z tools and travel service. I'll just click on this edit with Elementor. Okay, so this is my web page which I have already created. And this is the form which I have embedded on the web page. So this is my Elementor form. I'll just come to the left side. I'll just minimize this form fields option. Here we can find actions after submit option. Click on actions after submit. And here we have to click on this plus sign add action. And here we have to add the webhook option over here. Okay. And as soon as we add the webhook over here, a new webhook option is activated over here. Now it is asking for the webhook URL over here. So we will copy the webhook URL from Pabli Connect. And we will be pasting the same webhook URL over here in Elementor Forms. Okay. And now let's click on update. Okay, and the form is updated. Let's move to Public Connect. And now here we can see that it is waiting for the webhook response. So in order to capture the response, we have to do a test submission. It means we have to fill up a Elementor form on the name of our customer. So I'll just take you to the form. So this is my web page where I have embedded the form over here. Let us fill this form. I'm just going to give the full name as Shikha Arya. Okay, I'll just make the A capital. Let's give the email address over here as shikharia25 at the rate gmail.com and I'll add the phone number or the mobile number and let's click on submit. Okay, the form was sent successfully. So the form has been filled. Now let's move back to Public Connect and here we can see the responses received and here we can find the customer details of the form submission. This is the name of the customer email address, mobile number, this is the form ID and the form name. So now we want to add this particular form response to a table base. So come to this action window. Here in the choose application, let us find a table. In the action event, we have to select create record. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the token. Let us read the instructions. Log into Airtable to get your API key from the account section. So I'll just take you to my Airtable account. So this is my Airtable dashboard where I have created several bases over here. Uh, here we have to come to the profile option. Click on account. And when we scroll down here we can find the API key. So if you want to regenerate the API key by clicking on this button you can regenerate the API key. Or else we'll simply copy this API key from here and we will paste the same API key over here in Public Connect. And the same API key is the token. And let's click on save. Okay, and now the Airtable account is connected to Public Connect. Now as we have already created a connection, we can find all the bases that we have created in our Airtable account over here in Public Connect. Here we can find all the bases. So I'll just show you the base which I have already created over here in my Airtable account. And the base name is Elementor Form Responses. Here I have created a table named Lead Data where I have taken the columns for the name of the customer, email address and the mobile number. So if you want to add some more columns over here, by clicking on this plus sign you can add the columns or the fields as per your requirement. So let us select the base and the table name over here in Pabli Connect. So first let us select the base name. Let us uh, find the base name as Elementor Form Responses. And as we have created just one table in this particular base, the table name is automatically captured. If you have created multiple tables, from the drop down you can select your table name. Okay. Now here we have to give the name of the customer, email address and the mobile number. So we have already got these details from the Elementor Form submission over here. So we are going to map all these details now. I'm just going to map the name from Elementor and the name was Shikha Arya. Let us map the email address also. And here we have to map the mobile number. So we have mapped all the details. Now let's click on save and send test request. 
Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means the data is added to the uh, Airtable base. Let us check it. Okay, and here we can find the name of the customer, email address and the mobile number. So in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine. So let's move back to Public Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay, now we have to check this in the real time. For that, I'll just move to the Elementor form once again. Okay, I'm just going to refresh this particular page. And let us fill the form details over here on the name of some other customer. Let's give the customer name as Kuldeep Gupta. Let's give the email address as Gupta K22 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, and let's add the mobile number. Let's click on submit. Okay, the form was sent successfully. So we have entered the form details over here. Now let us check our Airtable base. Okay, and here we can find the customer details as name Kuldeep Gupta, email address and the mobile number. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. Let's move back to Public Connect and I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Elementor form and Public Connect. Then Public Connect has captured all the details of the customer through the form submission. And using the details of the customer, automatically a new record is created into a Airtable base. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between Elementor form and Airtable using Public Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Public Connect. In case of any queries, you can connect us to this Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Public Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Public Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video and this video are helpful for you, then please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.